it's for for like years we didn't know what she had, so she kept going in and out of hospitals for different things. The older she got, more stuff started happening. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the body aches and and yeah, being tired and excruciating migraines. You know, she would have these horrible migraines and where she couldn't even open her eyes for for like the whole day. She would just sleep because she didn't want to open her eyes because her head was so bad and. And then finally she she went and found other, you know, went to other doctors to get, give a, you know, the, to find out what she had. And then finally they said that she had lupus. 15 years? Yeah, of just suffering. But that's also us not knowing what it was. And, you know, I mean, when you don't know what it is, you, you don't really want to fight it, you know. Right. She, she had the Raynaud's phenomenon, and then we thought that's just what it was, you know. So we never really pursued anything because even the doctors didn't even know. They were like, oh, yeah, this is all you have. And no one really knows what it is. and then We don't know how to treat it, right? And, and I think that's why we need to raise this money and raise this awareness because we need to know. We need to find out. You know, I don't want other people to suffer the way my sister did for 15 years before she finally found out what she had. You know what I mean? You know, there's not one specific thing that she suffers from. It's just like this just everything hitting her and, and, and she's just got to deal with it and and then there's no medicines or anything that she's really taken for it and it just sucks it is cruel it's it's horrible I hate to see anyone with it the walk was great because my sister got to see uh, other you know other people at lupus my sister didn't know what to think until she got there you know and then when she got there then it really hit her hard and, and she she loved it now she can't stop talking about doing another walk. And I think I was the top guy, and I got an award for it. I got a medal that I hang in my room. I think the positive side is that we're all in this organization now. We're all, you know, involved in this, you know, and it, and it brought us closer together, you know, my sisters and, and myself, and it's kind of cool, you know? Because, you know, when, when we all grew up, we all kind of just left each other for years, and now we're kind of like, together and involved and, and, and doing this, this together as a, as a family. And I, and I love it. I think it's great. Thanks to everyone that's that supported this and, and helped me raise money for this cause. And, and I'm not going to stop. You know, I'm going to keep going. I'll keep going. As long as I tell jokes on stage, I'm always going to raise money.